internal resources. So, so we need uh, companies like Siemens that can help us with this. So we create a system, and a very important thing that I, I didn't mention before in the slide before, big data. Why is key big data? It's, I think it's a term that we use a lot, but in the case of energy efficiency, it's, it's key. I don't know if you can see it well, but this is a comparison between two compressors with different resolutions. In the first one, per hour, you can see that the trend has changed a little bit, but you cannot analyze really and you cannot define any patterns, which is the problem with these compressors. That the first one, when you can see in the graph that is below, with one minute of resolution, that is working very well, the, the yellow line, and after it has problems. So with this data, the people in our company began analyzing this information. Before, they have no idea about this. Because they have no resolution about the systems. So what, what we have what we did in the past, our current status of our development, we have deployed in 14 plants in Europe. We have began, we, we have the cooperation at Gestamp in, in Madrid, based in Madrid in Spain. So we have be began in the plants that are close to, uh, uh, to Madrid, in Bilbao, in, in, in Barcelona, but we extend to the rest of the Europe. And we are now launching this year in 2017 to the rest of the plant. As I said before, I have almost 100 plants. We need time because at the end, it's a we need a little investment in the plants to cabling and many things. So it's not plug and play uh, system. If we have uh, all, the, all the cabling and, and this, it's easy. But if not, we need to provide capex to the plants. And uh, I want now to dip in and permit me that uh, explain a little bit real examples of problems that we have detected with the system. This is, I want to talk about KPIs, what we did. With the observation of the, of the data uh, and with the analysis of the data, OK, we take measure, we can see things. But we began, OK, now we need to do machine learning. We need to define KPIs. We need to define alerts. And in this case, as you can see, the purple line is a compressor that is working. And in one moment, begins working at 80% of, uh, of its capacity. So another compressor begins working, variable, a variable compression that we have to support this uh, decrease of the performance of, of the compressor. Both compressors are working bad. The energy consumption increased because we are working with two compressors. So we have defined an hours that compare the current status of the compressor with the theoretical status that it needs and send an alert and an email and SMS to the uh, maintenance teams to analyze this. Another example, we can compare, because it's not only to solve problems, it's one of the key things of the system is to increase the productivity of our assets, to decrease the maintenance of our assets. In this example, you can see in the first graphic, uh, two different presses from two different suppliers. I, I didn't say the name. <laughs> and in the standby way, one is more efficient than the other one. So that we did is to ask, to call the supplier and to say, OK, what's happening with this? Your competitor is better than you in, in energy consumption. Can you, do, can you do anything? So they take measures. And after, you can see the, the red line that is before, they decrease almost 50% of the energy consumption in a standby mode. So it means, it means that they can do. I think this system is helping our suppliers to improve their assets, too. And we are working very, very close to them. They are, we are providing access to the suppliers to see in real time which is their consumption. That is very important. It's a win-win for everybody. Below, we have different presses, iron hydraulic and a mechanical press. We know that the consumption is very different depending on the, on the press. But this information for the commercial team is very interesting for RFQ process. In order to do investment or not in what technology we want to implement, mechanical or hydraulic, and in the business case, they can include this. We can split in the RFQ, which is the, the price in energy consumption per part that we are producing in each technology. This is unbelievable two years ago. 
and integration. The next step that we thought is, OK, we have the energy consumption data, but why cannot mix with another information? For example, production data or ERP. So that we did is to mix energy consumption with our manufacturing execution system. And as you can see here, is that in red color, for example, is the production is stopped. It's Monday morning in one plant in, the, in, the, in Europe. And they are switching on the furnaces in hot stamping technology and have a big peaks. And we, are, we have no production. Two things that we, we, we have to consider here. The control of the peaks that we have, for, very interesting, for example, in Germany, that the invoices are very related with the peaks that we have in terms of invoicing. And to analyze that we consume energy without pr uh, produce any part. So we take different measures. We talk with the maintenance teams. We implement changes in the processes of the plant in order to switch on the four furnaces that has this plant sequentially to try to avoid any problem. In the graph, you have a low. So we do this more slowly during the day and before, of course, uh, begin the, the, the shift. But we have avoid this type of peaks that all the plants have. And finally, we have implemented a big number of measures. And all these efficiency measures come directly from the plants, from the operators that are looking at information that has for them is our mandatory to send every week a lesson learned and analysis that they did. So we have a very collaborative way of work be between the plants because when, when we began the project, and it's a, it's a joke, it, we say, OK, this information is fantastic, but we cannot compare. So after we have the second plant, we cannot do anything. So we were very happy with the system, with the data, and I say, OK, it doesn't work. We need more things. So this is measures that we have implemented in Bielefeld here in Germany with uh, laser welding cells, different measures that has decreased 20% the energy um, uh, cost of, of the laser welding cells in, in average a lot. So these are different examples that we have Real examples, believe me, that people is uh, very exciting with the project, and many of the plants are, are telling us we are implementing many of the measures in plants that have in the system because are very easy. We are talking about setting of compressors, we are talking about performance of many of the of our assets. Uh, although they don't have the system, we can implement. So we are launching many of these initiatives. After this, we are we are implementing the system with, and they can detect new things. So the result, try to summarize. We have implemented more than 130 measures during this one year and a half. We have reduced 10% in terms of uh, 50 gigabytes per hour and uh, in the 14 plans that we have implemented. It means more than 4 million euros in cost. We have analyzed which is the business case with the return of investment of the project is more or less 1.5, less than 1.5 uh, year, one year and a half. And we have saved 14,000 tons of uh, CO2. That is very important for us. In the graphic, you can see in which areas we have implemented all, the, all these measures. Next is like I said. New plants in the in the in the Asia plants, mainly in China and in India. Four plants in the in the U.S. and Mexico, and after next step we will have uh, uh, South America. In South America now in Brazil and Argentina are not well business, so we'll wait a little bit uh, to implement. But we have put objectives to everybody, so we have include in our budget at a five percent of uh, saving in the current plants and a new 10% for the new plants. So we will save at the end of, the, uh, of, of 2017 50 gigabytes per hour more. So it means that in accumulated, we will save, we expect, save almost 8 million euros. So this, you have talked about the profit on this account, is direct to the profit on this account. That for us is very, very, very interesting. Thank you very much for your time. 
I think it's a very detailed information, but I, I try to explain it uh, very quickly. Thank you. And I think you did it.